Greetings everyone. Today is September 12th of 23. In today's video I will talk about methods and techniques that will improve and speed up ripening of figs. And I will demonstrate on two examples how these techniques are working. We'll have here group A and we're going to compare it to the group B. Both of these groups are Hardy Chicago and they were both planted in ground in 2010. So perfect example, same variety, same age. And if you are living in a zone, colder zone for growing figs, let's call it zone 7 and lower. At this point you probably have many unripe figs on the branches. And any time that we can save during ripening process can be very beneficial. Imagine a cold season with the rain coming in a few days or even a day. One day can mean that we can potentially eat a good ripened fig or more or having a lost season with the figs being damaged from rain and they will split like this fig here or just because of the cold temperatures they are not able to ripen properly. These techniques will work both for the trees in ground and containers. Here I made a list of these steps, these guides, that will help me be more organized and I will talk about each one separately. The first four, location, variety, protecting old wood and head start are more of a general guides for having fig trees that will ripen sooner and the last three thinning of fruit thinning of wood and improving structure are the steps that we can do right now to promote faster ripening so let's talk. location fig trees are subtropical plants and they love sun so before you plant a tree you should always choose the sunniest area in your backyard or front yard if possible, you should take advantage of a microclimate. That's the area that receives extra heat, thermal heat from a house, for example. And uh, plant a tree on a south side, ideally. That side will receive the maximum sunlight during the day. If that's not possible, perhaps southeast or even east, southwest will work. However, I would not recommend the north side that side will be mostly in shade and uh, the trees could be vigorous and be um, well branched out however will not be productive with uh, fruit planting trees in microclimate will give you advantage of an earlier start and also will protect the trees during winter the cold temperatures from freezing if not possible, then plant a tree again away from the other tall objects or maybe neighboring trees so they can receive at least five, six hours, if possible, more of sunlight during the day. Variety. When choosing a proper variety, especially for the trees planted in ground, as a rule, the colder the climate you are living in, the earlier ripening variety you should choose. And here I have hardy Chicago's, which are quite early. However, there are others that are even earlier for a week or two or more. And planting those in your climate, if it's colder than mine, for example, will be more appropriate. You can still enjoy later ripening varieties if you plant them in containers. You can find the list of early ripening varieties online from many nurseries or perhaps you can find information on our figs forum. Protection of old wood. If possible, try protecting your fig trees during dormancy. Older fig trees will be more productive, they will be able to set and ripen their fruit earlier. 
also some fig types like San Pedro are productive on a previous year growth as well as some common figs what we mostly grow they are able to produce early crop or breba on a per previous year growth and here I was able to protect these fig trees with a simple method of using paper bags filled with leaves that I have collected from my neighbors during fall and then covering the pruned trunks to about a foot of height and this largest tree I folded down to the ground again I covered it up and then I used tarp to protect them from extra moisture actually this exact tarp behind and they were able to survive this past winter the lowest temperature I recorded was uh, 4 degrees Fahrenheit head start Head start is a method used for fig trees to give them an earlier start at the beginning of the season so they can grow and produce and ripen their fruit sooner. And it is mostly used for the trees grown in containers. However, it can be applied to the trees grown in ground with the help of greenhouses. In fact, here I used to use a plastic greenhouse over these trees and by doing so I would extend the season both at the beginning and end at the end. For the trees in containers there is a method of shuffling and involves of taking the trees from cold storage areas like sheds, garages and basements, taking them outside during warmer winter days at the end of the winter and then taking them indoor again before the cold nights. I also had developed method of giving the trees a head start under the lights indoors and those are the trees in the back. All of these trees were given a very generous head start. In fact, they started growing at the beginning of February. And now I'm going to talk about this techniques and actions that we can do today to speed up the ripening of figs. Thinning of fruit. Usually we hear about this technique with other fruit trees like apples and peaches for example and there is a reduction of the fruit from a tree. Some trees, some cultivars more than others have ability to grow too many fruit on their branches especially in a good season weather-wise when pollination was good and that creates a lot of competition between all of that fruit to draw enough nutrients for them to grow and ripen or perhaps I should say that that puts a lot of pressure on a tree to provide enough nutrients like water and minerals and sugars for that fruit to grow and ripen. By reducing the number, let's say a cluster of apples of from five, six to only one or two, now the remaining fruit has more of those nutrients, more sugars for them to grow bigger, ripen sooner, to have even more nutritional value and possibly be even more tasty. Well, the same principle we can apply to fig trees. Here on this group A I had already performed thinning and let me show you how much I had removed. Probably 50% of the figs I had removed about four or five days ago and now the remaining fruit has more nutrients for them to grow bigger and ripen sooner. One word of caution for those of you who are allergic to latex. Fig trees exude milky sap or latex sap from all of their parts, branches and leaves and fruit. And if that touches your skin, it can cause an allergic reaction. Possible second degree burns if exposed to the sun's uh, UV rays. For that reason, you should always wear protective gloves, goggles and wear long sleeve shirts. 
Also. When removing figs, you should always start at the bottom and then work your way up. That will minimize the danger that uh, the sap will drip onto your skin. And you can also use uh, these garden snippers like that and not even touch them with your hands. Thinning of wood. This technique is kind of similar in explanation to thinning of fruit. Less wood, less branches can result in earlier ripening. Let me explain on this group A. And looking at the base, we can see that it's free of any suckers. Starting very early in the season and then throughout the growing season, I was removing those suckers. And fig tree naturally will try to send a lot of suckers and that's their natural form to be of a bushy form tree. And by removing those, I only had left four canes that I protected this past winter. So now it is an older wood. And also now I created more open space between those trunks. Now there is much improved airflow. Wind can now blow easier through that foliage, through those branches and dry up leaves and fruit after rain. For example, uh, potentially reducing the splitting and reducing the fungal diseases, potentially. Also, what is improved is the sun penetration. With less dense foliage, now the sun energy can be better absorbed by the remaining leaves and the fruit. They will ripen better when exposed to the sun. And here on this largest tree, I'm going to show you this area right there. There was a scar from a branch that I had removed about five days ago to show you better how this is working. This branch here was shading the branches in the back. By removing that branch I have now created this open center and this area now is better exposed to the sun. I had also pruned the tips of all of those canes to reduce the height since the, a lot of the new growth will be producing a lot of smaller fruit and again they will draw energy from a tree. Improving structure. Just as I have improved the structure of this tree here by pruning that branch and creating that open center, we can also improve structure of the trees without pruning by using different tools like bamboo stakes and uh, spreaders and benders. And here I have these galvanized spreaders. They come in different sizes. This one I've been using on my trees at the beginning for almost 20 years when I first started uh, this orchard in 2002 and I use these on peaches and cherries and other trees and now I'm reusing it for my fig trees and here I'm gonna show you on this example let's just say that these two branches are growing too close to each other. And now this spiders get this pointy end here. We can secure one at one branch or trunk and spread this apart. And again, now we have created an open center, improving both airflow and sun penetration. And now let's see the results of these techniques. And here we have a competition of group A and group B. Group A was the one that was benefiting from these techniques. And you may have already spotted these. Let me go closer. And here we have our first Hardy Chicago figs ripening. 
just four five days ago they were the same size as these figs above them let's take a note of their positioning they are closer to the trunk than these and uh, that's a very good sign that means that their other fruit is not too far behind them in ripening and I'm very or let's say I'm optimistic that the remaining figs will have enough time to ripen let me give you a close-up they are of a very good size for hardy Chicago let me show you compared to my hand and I think that's the result again of this thinning of fruit and wood the more nutrients this fruit had the more sugars the larger the size they can grow to and now let's take a look at the group B again we can see that this group is much more denser in foliage and even has a, a lot more fruit production however the size of these figs are much smaller I would estimate that these figs are about two weeks behind ripening stage of the group A the smaller fruit of course even more the clear winner here is group A of course however I'm gonna also mention that these techniques can be also modified based on your needs and we are for example we can leave some of the suckers at this group A to grow for propagating material nicely spaced not to make the area too crowded and we're gonna still designate these trunks for fruit production on these new suckers that now are growing into canes we will remove all of the figs and now the leaves can still photosynthesize and provide sugars to ripen these figs on the designated trunks now we have both fruit production and also propagating material and now let's take a look at the trees in containers I'm gonna just glance to the right these are the group of trees that had a generous head start indoor under the lights and for them the growing season is almost over but this group here did not receive a head start and they are just now starting to ripen their figs so same principle same techniques and actions can be used on these trees as for the trees in ground um, only difference is that uh, these trees already had benefits of uh, many of those uh, actions like improving structure proper pruning so the sun penetration can be greater and so the only action that I can do now is uh, thinning of a fruit removing of some of the figs like here I did probably maybe 40 percent or so maybe 50 percent and so that remaining fruit can use more nutrients and they will improve their ripening ripening faster and as a result now this fig is almost ripe and so you can do this for your own trees you can assess the situation and based on the individual tree how many figs it has how many time do you have left and uh, you can decide based on that how many figs you need to remove 
I hope that this was a helpful information and that it will improve ripening of your figs. Thank you for watching, enjoy your figs and have a great day.